Just last week I discovered an app for your iPhone that allows you to use the camera source through into Ecamm here and I wanted to share it with you. Now I can't take credit for this, I was actually watching Ken and Glenn doing the 3.3 update of Ecamm and uh, someone had mentioned in the comments, or I think Ken was getting distracted by a comment coming in, went off and bought this app, had a go with it. Uh, it's very basic, it's nothing fancy, all this is doing is giving you a clean feed from the rear camera on your iPhone. You may have tried to do this with the phone app and yes you can crop but you've got to come a long way in to get rid of all the text and that that's on the screen with you. So all this is doing is simply giving you a feed come through and it says that it stops the screen from going off as well. I haven't really tested that for any length of time. Feel free to try it and let me know in the comments if that is wrong. I've previously used the NDI Cam app that's uh, recommended on the Ecamm site and uh, Epoch Cam, I believe it's called. Now both of them use Wi-Fi to send the signal from your phone across to your computer and I found both of them to be glitchy. Now we haven't got great Wi-Fi out here so I guess that's part of the problem but the beauty of this one is that it uses a cable in the back of my camera straight into my laptop and I like the idea of that. So. All you need to do is to head to the App Store, I think I paid £2.99 for this, and download this simple app. And then what it will do is give a feed straight through from my camera without any display on there as you can see. The only thing is, is that I can still see the settings at the top here, right at the top. We are going to need to crop in a little bit. Now I see two main ways of using this. Um, I've got myself one of these little tabletop tripod, a little selfie stick really. Uh, I can use this. And uh, bearing in mind that it is only using this rear face camera, there are no options on this app as you're going to see in a second. Uh, it literally just gives me a feed coming through. And it seems to stay at a top level so notification things aren't coming over the top of this because that was one thing I was concerned about. So I can just simply drop this into this stand over here, turn it around and uh, let's show you the feed coming through from this. So uh, on the left is my main camera feed and here on the right is the one coming through from the phone. So let me bring this right in line here with um, my other camera. Interesting difference in quality there uh, but remember so if I were uh, trying to see across there so that's the feed as it comes in on its own but uh, as you know with my camera effects tab open I'm saying as you know sorry you might not know this with the camera effects tab open which is this one I can scroll down to zoom and pan and at the minute it's only showing me my AD's iPhone because that's what it's on um, and I can zoom in on this. So what I was saying earlier is you know yes on that screen I can see the time on there. I can pull that in and look there you go that's not bad and I can just adjust that crop. Right all right so um, that's all right. It's um, better than what my webcam would be giving me straight out of my Mac here. In fact, we can pull those up um, side by side and uh, look, there's, there's the comparison there. So phone is the first one, webcam is the second one and uh, my camera, my Lumix camera is coming in on the third one. Uh, let's remove that one. So um, yeah. Uh, that works really well. That's one application, you know, I mean, why do I want to see two pictures of myself? A few people talk to me about running a second camera. They seem to uh, like the idea that, um, I don't know, maybe, maybe part way through your presentation you want to be able to just cut to another scene over here. And of course I did, if you've seen my video that I just put out uh, yesterday, uh, we can now choose to, uh, you know, take, take the saturation out and things with these. Um, play with that a little bit. Let's push that gamma up a little bit there. Um, maybe I like that and I want to have it zoomed in a bit. That kind of works as a fun kind of second camera. I don't know, maybe as you're doing your video and you're talking away like this and you just want to be able to cut to a second angle and make it look like you've got um, you know somebody running two different cameras here. Uh, that's one application. Uh, what I know is definitely an application and probably more so is to be able to use this 
for a feed coming down. Uh, several of my customers are working two cameras and they want to be able to do a feed. Um, Summer, who is an ECAM member, uh, does jewellery making and wants to be able to have a camera feed pointing down. Uh, so, I mean, I'm using, this is a microphone boom stand uh, that you can get very cheaply. I'll put links to all these bits uh, if you're interested. And I've just got a bracket on the end of here that my phone fits in. It's a very tight one to clamp into there. So I can take the phone off of this stand and I could put it up here. Now, obviously I wouldn't have this right in front of my face. I'd have it coming in from the other side, but I want to keep it in the view here so you can see what I'm doing. But now I could uh, switch this around and you can have, we're still on, Let's reset those picture settings there. You know, I could be working away at something here. I could be uh, demonstrating something. This is the uh, <laughs> remote control for my lights. Uh, I could be zoomed in on this and uh, you know, working this as my overhead cam. And of course, if I wanted to bring myself back in as a picture in picture, then I can be sitting down here. I could be using the green screen feature that you uh, can find out in another video if you haven't already seen that. Uh, so yeah, this uh, I think this is a fantastic way to do this. So do you like the idea of that? Does that make sense that um, for $2.99 uh, for an app, you, you can then use the phone that you've already got. It's on a cable, so the phone is being charged and is getting power all the time. It's not using Wi-Fi and going to be draining anything from that. Uh, it makes a lot of sense to me. It ticks a lot of boxes and a very affordable way to bring in a second camera. So I hope you like that. I was certainly really impressed when I saw it. Uh, very easy to use. I like to actually be able to use things that I've already got instead of keep having to go out and buy new things. Uh, so the fact that I can use my phone that I've already got with a very nice camera in there and of course the newer ones, even better cameras in there. Uh, what do you think to it? Let me know in the comments. Uh, come back to me. I think this is a great little find. As ever, if you really want to get mastering Ecamm, then do come and join me in the Ecamm Live Academy. Uh, details of that are all in the description below and I look forward to helping you in another video. See you soon.